so Microsoft, so Microsoft released AutoGen version 0.4. So an update to AutoGen as of January 14th of this year, 2025. Um, this update here does a couple of uh, interesting things. So it addresses some issues with uh, asyn asynchronous functions. Uh, asynchronous meaning lots, uh, multiple functions running at one time in its simplest sense. Um, so agents communicating asynchronously, so that's going to speed things up, right? If, if things need to take turns, then obviously that's going to be longer than things happening at one time. Uh, and so when you break that down into communication, into individual messages, that can be a big boost to the performance overall of um, event-driven, you know, request responses. So modular and extensible, user can easily customize systems with pluggable components, custom agents, tools, memories. Um, so this, I'm I'm more interested in, in how this interacts in terms of the code base. I'm going to look at that. Observability, uh, debugging, cool, useful. Uh, scalable and distributed, so um, distributed agent networks. I'm curious as well in the code how, how they've changed that. Um, community extensions, that's very cool. Community extensions, if Microsoft or whatever platform that's open source ends up building uh, sort of this this garden, this marketplace for extensions that work really well, effectively just additional code base or, or plugins, which are really just tools for agents um, or potentially, you know, another agent that is going to be very useful. So there are um, open source there are open source infrastructures now that have come out that are really, really good. Like, for example, Crew AI. However, it is clear that Crew AI has also received um, funding and is really targeting as well on enterprise solutions. And so what I noticed with that is that there there is a lot of focus on that side of things and not as much on tons of open source, freely available examples of great uh, crew infrastructure from crew AI themselves. Now people have made lots of videos and crew AI does have some examples. So it's, it's, I really like, and by the way, I know, um, and I've interacted with crew AI's, um, founder. Um, I'm going to say his name wrong, Jao or Jao. Um, but I, 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 we've talked, uh, he's, he's given me, um, access to one of their, uh, enterprise plans and stuff. So I've tested Curry AI quite a bit and I really, really like it. So I'm not saying anything negative here, but if you think about Microsoft actually coming in and not really probably seeing this infrastructure as a, this massive, you know, profit generator. Well, if they don't really care that much about generating that much profit from it, then it'll probably just stay, you know, useful for the community to build things on that's my two cents so cool let's actually check it out so when a new agent infrastructure drops i'm going to make these videos just highlighting it and actually building something useful with it that's not just um, a research you know blog writer so let's check it out before diving in i, I do just want to highlight this system that either microsoft has built or, or is integrated with um, you can, I'll link that below, but basically this makes a lot of sense. So in general, let's say you were to build a crew AI setup, you're, you might want to build an agent that specifically has access to searching, writing, creating, and deleting files. You may also want to give that agent access to web searching, uh, with DuckDuckGo. You might want to then, you know, give it access to web scraping with your own script, or you might want to add web scraping with something like Firecrawl or whatever. Uh, you may want to tell an agent, you know, that they should write a certain kind of code, um, be able to execute commands in the terminal. So what these guys have done is sort of package all of that up into just a sort of a built-in orchestration piece. Um, called Magentic One. So these are generalist mult. These are generalist tools that pretty much all agents that work within a system could benefit from having. So it sounds like Microsoft is implementing Magentic One inside of their AutoGen as a way to sort of give all the tools, uh, you know, all the all the agents as a baseline the ability to to 
interact with your computer or your terminal to write code to web surf and to file surf um that is those are the kinds of things that you're going to probably build into any complicated system anyways so having those rock solid as base tools sort of base abilities makes a lot of sense and that makes things really cool so let's actually check it out and let's build something so do yourself do yourself a favor and make sure that you have uh, Python installed and UV installed um, package manager. I've been using UV since before. Pretty much everybody is now um, shipping it natively within their code bases, but UV is just a dream to work with. So uh, speaking of which, I know that um, based on the GitHub repo, we need Python version at least uh, over uh, 10 so we're going to go with 12 um, so I'll go uh, uv python pin 3.12.8 uh, we will now do um, uv venv and we will do we'll activate the venv as well after um, actually I can just do that I think I have there we go so now we have this is my own that's my own alias uh, to activate a venv so now we've got the venv active, we're going to pip install what we need. So we'll um, pip install it. When you're using UV, it will automatically install it to the venv for you within the folder, but it won't automatically activate the venv when running stuff. However, uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're already Inside the Venv, we're going to install it, and uh, once this is done, we'll go ahead and build something. Very silly little flub. I pip installed. I did not uh, UV pip install. If we want to use our UV Venv, we need to UV pip install. As you can see, now we have all the libraries, which we didn't have previously, so that was just a silly goose on the loose move for me. Next, I'm going to install uh, uv pip install python dash dot env so that we can use a dot env file in the current directory and pull our environment variables like our open AI, API key, stuff like that very easily. All right, so this is one of the new um, examples here from the autogen uh, page. We're going to actually UV uh, pip install the extensions that are going to be used here. So I guess this is, I'm not sure if this is new, but you can see here we have a web surfer extension. We've got the OpenAI extension and the agent chat um, pip install. So I am curious to, uh, you know, how many extensions there are and, and if that's all new, but we've yeah, we've installed it anyways. Uh, for this, we're going to need Playwright. So Playwright's a, you know, it's a browser um, automation uh, tool here. So let's go UV and we'll pip install Playwright as well. Uh, like that. And then now we have, oh, Playwright's already been installed. So we'll try to, I'm going to try to run Playwright. It should work. Install inside of this venv. And if it doesn't, you have to do this after you pip install Playwright. It's it's different from other packages in this way. Some packages do have um, something like this. And it's because it's installing sort of a, a headless, a Chromium headless browser shell in a way. So it's a, it's a browser automation that does utilize, you know, headless Chrome uh, browser. So that's going to install here and it looks like it's working. I think it's working within the venv. If not, what I would do here, if this doesn't work is I would type in UV run and then playwright install, but I'll let this finish. All right. So that's all, uh, that's all installed. So let's go ahead and run this. This is just their example. And I did change, um, auto gen for fart coin because we do need to make sure that we're staying up to date on the latest and greatest in uh, money making you know we get we got to get you know we got to get our dollars up with the latest in crypto tell me all about fartcoin how i'm going to get rich let's do it so it's just running right now i assume i want to assume um cool find information about fartcoin write a short summary that's happening and let's see what we get 
Now this is using GPT-40, which is relatively fast uh, in terms of the how fast it does things. I don't know if this has, I'm not sure if this is using any of the async um, stuff that they've added, but yeah, so what are we doing here? Let's see. I want, I'm curious. So this is videos of Fort Coin. See, this is interesting. So it's going to Bing videos exploring. Is it is it able to watch and is it does it have a built in? I don't think it has a built in um, way to view videos, but that's an interesting use case for an agent we could potentially build if people are interested. Uh, something that can watch videos, transcribe them in its research phase. However. Some YouTube videos have the transcript attached, and then I guess you could just pull that from API if that's a thing. Assistant Fartcoin's a meme cryptocurrency on the Solana blockchain created by an anonymous developer in 2024. So this is pretty good. You know, originated from discussions on ideal meme coins. Truth Terminal, known for its cultural humorous appeal. Fartcoin gained popularity on social media. Blend of AI, speculative finance, and cryptocurrencies. User can submit jokes or means for token rewards utilizing a unique gas fee system where transactions generate digital farts. Okay, interesting. Uh, what else is interesting is that, I mean, it, it actually did a pretty good job. Now, I am curious about its source and thinking and, and all of that, but what I like is that you can see we didn't actually give it much. Like, the, the base... That's what I'm liking about Autogen so far. So obviously we can create our own custom agents with our own custom system instructions and we can create agents that will, you know, do do more. Uh, but it's really, really cool to see that just out of the box, this uh, setup of, you know, just having an agent conversation is working really well. So I do like that. Um and we're going to actually just add to this. Uh, we did add a code agent. So the code agent is built into uh, just Autogen in and of itself. So there's, there's you know, um, code executor that can use Python code ex execution and command line uh, code ex executor as well. Um, so we have now uh, imported those. And then we our code agent is just an assistant agent. And then it's called code assistant. And... It has uh, tools enabled and it's just called tool. So that's called tool. This would be better organized if I called it, you know, like, I don't know, whatever. If I called it what this is, but in any case, this is tool. We have a directory called output that is the working directory. I don't believe it's going to use that because I have said here to find information about Farcoin, write the summary, include the flowchart, and then I specified use the code assistant to execute Python that will create a file. Um, there, there may even be in Autogen a better way to write to files if you don't want to use code to write to files, if that makes sense. Um, or you could just, you know, potentially build a, a plugin or extension and all it does is create markdown files to keep things a little bit more safe and containerized. Running the code assistant without a Docker container is not recommended, but hey. So this is now running. This has created the mermaid chart. You can see there are no issues there. What's cool is the file surfer is taking a look. It's like, hey, let's check out the directory, bros. And then, um, you know, passing that along as well. And then the code assistant has now uh, e executed its ability to write code that can save files. So here we go. We have an output. Very, very cool. Check it out. Um, code is obviously in the video. Um, everything is down below in terms of links and stuff. If you need this code, here's what I recommend. Take a screenshot of the video, go to GP, ChatGPT and tell it, hey, give me the text. And that's just because, come on, guys, let's use AI tools. We got them. Anyways, thanks for checking out this video. I will continue to explore agent um, infrastructures. I love agent infrastructures. I've been using agent uh, and agent setups for a long time. So, yeah, guys, thank you for, for checking this out. And, uh and learning more about Fartcoin and Autogen with me today.